Are you looking to set up a server for Rust to play with friends or, or maybe enemies? Look no further, I'm the 342 and I'm here to walk you through how to get a dedicated hosted server up and running quick and easy. Bear in mind however, a hosted server is one that you rent from a gaming service provider. So you do pay some 10, 12 dollars monthly for it. If you're looking for a dedicated local server that you run on your PC, please let me know in the comment section below. And if there is enough interest, I'll make a video for that as well. It is a lot more complex, however, and ultimately most servers are therefore hosted. But do let me know if that's what you're looking for and I'll see what I can do. First of all, we're going to be navigating to the correct page. And I do have an affiliate link in the description below, along with a 10% recurring monthly discount that you can make use of. It'll definitely save you some money. And for full disclosure, I am nowadays partnered with Ping Perfect. This video is not a paid for video. It's not sponsored. I've used Ping Perfect for years and long before they even asked me to partner with them across multiple games. And right now, I actually have five servers running different games. I find Ping Perfect having the greatest offering, very competitive pricing, and in my view, it's the best hosting provider due to the wide array of game offerings and locations that they have. Much of what I will show for Rust actually applies to any of the game servers they have. So if you instance want to set up a different game, just use the same link and choose the game that you want and most of the steps will be the same or very similar. So hit the link that is in the description and then scroll down and hit Rust. As you go through this, there will be a lot of things to read, so make sure you do that. Some of the features that are available for hosted servers that is instant setup. Well, actually, it usually takes two or three minutes, but it's almost instant. Global locations. Ping Perfect has a lot of locations, whether you're in Europe, Asia, and North America, even in Africa. So it's definitely really good for me because I'm based out of Singapore, which is really helpful. There is a full backup system you can take advantage of, really helpful. Money back, not happy, they will refund it. Free web hosting, also I use this FTP file browser. Customer support is really good. You have a game panel, of course you can switch the game if you want something else. It's all running on enterprise hardware, free rebranding if you don't want to have the ping perfect branding, of course, DDoS protection. You can use it on the PC. You can even use it on the mobile. So there's a bunch of features here that just makes it easy. We're gonna choose the USD option. If you're using pound or euro, you can do that as well, whichever is appropriate for you. And it takes you to this page where you configure what you're ordering. There is a summary here on the right side. So keep an eye on that one because that one changes depending on what you are selecting. It has a brief of what the features and stuff like that. It does mention that monthly you get no discount. Quarterly, you get a 5% discount. Semi-annually, you get 10% discount. Annually, 15%. I definitely recommend that you go for at least quarterly or semi-annually because those 5 or 10% actually do add up, especially if you're using my recurring discount code for an additional 10%. So you can get something like up to 25% on the cost every month, which is really awesome if you're doing annually, but at least do semi-annually or quarterly. Now, as we scroll down here, you can then choose the location. And you see there's a bunch of different locations that you can select. I'm gonna choose USA Atlanta. Branding, whether you wanna have by Pink Perfect, which does save you just a little bit of money, $2. If you deselect it, you'll see that goes away and the cost goes up. So I would definitely suggest having that. Uh, you can select whether you want to have the regular SSD or you want to have NVMe, which is a little bit faster. It does load everything faster, so you can select that. It does add on a little bit of cost. You do get up to 6.5 GB free. If you have a server that requires a lot more, you can actually select more. You can edit that later on and add that on. If you notice that your server is running a little bit of the space because you have a lot of people playing and building, so you can do that later on as well. Normal support is usually what I want to do and if you do have if you're new to running service you could consider actually doing a little bit more having a better support and stuff like that but normally it's not required because it's really simple priority normal priority is normally enough if you're having a lot of action and you want to have it a little bit smoother and you're running into just too many players doing too many at the same time you can actually bump that up to above normal priority i normally just have normal priority as a default and it's always worked really well you put in whatever host name you're going to be you're going to say rust server and uh, our password one two three four five because i'm not going to be using this one if you do need help to migrate this from a different provider you can take that in and add that to the card as well i'm not going to do that because it's a new fresh setup and then do a quick review of what we have here we're doing 
quarterly charging and it's going to be a 3447 quarterly before the discount so hold on for that we come to the review and checkout and make sure you're checking to see what you're getting if it's incorrect go back and change what you want to have then you go down to promo code and you see validate and we're going to see we're going to get a 10 percent recurring discount and that actually ends up saving you quite a lot of money over the time you're using the server and then you hit checkout when you reach the checkout page of course you have to create a new account unless you have one i this is obviously mine because i'm just doing a test server and you can then choose how you're going to pay whether you're going to do credit card pay safe paypal bank transfer or even bitcoin put in your information accept it and complete the order once you get the order confirmation, just go and get yourself a coffee. What's happening in the back end now is that the system has accepted and assuming you have paid for and everything and is hard at work automatically setting up the Rust server. And you will be getting a couple of confirmation emails after a while, both for the server, the invoice and the order itself. And a couple of minutes after that, the complete details of the server that has been set up but you have to just hold on a little bit because everything in the background is setting it up on the ping perfect servers so get your coffee and have a look at your email in just a moment and just to highlight this is the auto confirmation that i got and it does mention that don't try to log into the game panel prior to getting the emails to tell you that it's done it can cause delays because something can go wrong so just hold on and before long, you'll get an email saying that your Rust server has been created and it will have the game server information. I've removed the IP port and stuff like that and the username, of course, because I, I don't want to share that. Sorry, but you will have all the details in here and it'll tell you how to log in. You go to this game panel and for the password, you refer to the another email that will be in your email inbox that will start with your game panel details and it will have the user password separately because it's not included in the email just for security reasons so you go to that put in your username and password and log in and that will take you to the control panel which is really where you do all the configuration and how you manage your server after you've ordered it and there's a few points in here first thing what i would do is just stop it because it starts already when it's freshly installed by the ping perfect server and you do want to configure it so just shut it down let it stop there's a bunch of functionality in here. The most important one is the configuration files. We're going to go through that in a little bit. There's a mod manager if you want to add mods, file manager if you want to access some of the files, check the logs. If you do need to update this server from Steam, you go here and click and it'll help you to update it to the latest version. You can back up and restore your save data or wipe it if you want to start over. Let's say you start over every month or every three months. And of course, some other links such as the Rust Wiki, the forums and the devlog and stuff like that to have a look at what's happening with Rust as a game. First thing we're going to do, though, is to go to the configuration files. And here we're going to go to the config editor. And this is where you configure everything around it. We want to be vanilla, soft core, the tags, the difficulty or the description that you might want to change. If you have a website, you can put in the server URL despawn where there's going to be a pv server whether it's using the easy anti-cheat if you're not sure what all these settings do then just leave them default and go read on the Rust wiki and check out specifically because there's a lot of information about what they do in specific of course if you're running a server you need to go to the admin setup file to actually add yourself as a admin or moderator of your friends and it's really easy just hit new admin go find your steam id64 which is actually in your steam profile put that in and the name that is going to be here and just add it of course if you want to delete them you can delete them as well let's say rust has an update you need to update the server as well because otherwise you won't be able to connect just go update server from steam hit ok and the system will by itself go and grab all the files from steam download it and install it on your server it does take a while depending on where you are and how big the update is so just sit back and let it go you'll get a bunch of lines here as it downloads installs and then verifies and the process has been completed i definitely suggest you back up your save data regularly every day every couple of days manually you click here and also allows you to restore a better way is actually to utilize a scheduled task so we're going to do that by making a new and we're going to do a backup save and we're going to hit new here and does allow to do test 
and then we're going to do one time a note. We're going to do a daily. And basically you put in whichever day and time, depending on when to do it. And we're going to say back up like this and then save it. And basically what this means that the system will on itself be taking a backup at whatever day and time that you've specified. So you don't have to do it. Usually the servers will go down at that time as well. So you might want to inform your players as well that this is going to happen. But this really saves you a lot of hassle in case someone is griefing or something goes wrong. and You do need to roll back. And rolling back is simple. Just hit restore save data and it will allow you to select whichever game save that has been backed up and it'll have a timestamp here. That's it. Let's start it and then let it get up and we're going to try to connect. The information you need to connect is here, the connection information as well. So make sure you take a copy of this well because you're going to need it. All right, I've started the game here and the easiest way to connect is to hit F1. You get the console and you type in client connect and then the IP and port that was provided on the previous screen. Now, if this fails, it's usually because the server hasn't started up yet and it's still loading in. And when that is done, it'll be something like this. You can hit F1 again, and it'll say Rust server pingperfect.com, which is what we had, 50 players, which is a standard vanilla procedural map, and it'll load everything in, which is gonna take a while. But this means basically that the server is up and it's transferring the details to your client. And we've now loaded it and we're sleeping. Hit any key to wake up and we're in. And I'm now playing on the server that I just set up. See how easy that was? Really simple. And it's actually really fast to do as well. I mean, the total setup, you know, from start to getting the server up is probably less than half an hour. You can probably rush it if you really know what you're doing. And uh, easy. I did not have any issues at all getting this set up. The only thing that I ran into was that I tried to connect first before the server had completed starting up. And I just waited a little bit more until it was done. And I tried again. And here we are. Everything is done and I'm on my procedural map. But let's say you run into some issues. Something goes wrong, you can't figure out or you just have questions. Well, it's simple enough. Simply hit get support and you'll be able to ask the support department, maybe you have some billing issues or sales, whatever. Just ask them a question, specify what you need, and they generally get back to you really quickly, at least with a basic response, even though it might take them a little bit of extra time, you know, to dig into your specific query and provide you a good answer to that. But the Ping Perfect has really good service from their customer support team. If you found this tutorial useful, why not hit that like button, subscribing to my channel, and maybe commenting in the discussion section below. Remember, use my affiliate link and the 10% recurring monthly discount code to save yourself some money. Enjoy!